We have been focusing on diversifying our business away from the U.S. for a while. At one time, we used to have 85% of our business coming from the U.S., but as of this quarter, we have only 60% or 62% coming from the U.S., and that is coming out of uh, a well-orchestrated strategy of moving away from the U.S. and depend more on the rest of the uh, countries. Uh, Europe and Asia Pacific continue to look attractive for us in uh, near-term opportunities. Uh, we believe that uh, in medium to long term, there is a possibility that our revenues will be only 50% coming from U.S. and 50% from the rest of the world. And we believe that that is a reflection of where the economy is. Uh, by and large, most of the economies are looking uh, very attractive uh, for growth. Uh, those are all away from the U.S. Uh, we have uh, new riches in uh, Middle East uh, coming out of the increase in oil prices. Uh, we have seen China emerging as a major economy. We have seen Brazil having significant impact in Latin America. Australia is uh, uh, growing very well for us as business. So we believe if we just look at the near-term business trends, uh, greater growth will come from markets outside of U.S. And uh, it is not entirely unrealistic to expect uh, that U.S. contribution might be only 50% uh, in the medium to long term.